Okay, today I'm going to show how to optimize tool holders for use in Mastercam's tool library. And so I have a tool holder here that's been imported from Machining Cloud, and it is a Kenametal HSK style holder for milling. And I'm just going to take that step model and I'm going to drag it onto the screen of a fresh session in Mastercam. Then I'm going to minimize this, get this out of the way. You'll see the holder there in place. And so first off, you don't want to move this holder. You want to leave it in the orientation that it's in. That is the orientation that Mastercam's tool management system expects to receive that. But this has a lot of milling features on it, and it has more detail than what is necessary to represent the holder for the purpose of verification or simulation. So a couple of quick steps here. We're going to use this tool uh, that's located in the layout section of model prep. So you want to click the model prep tab, look at the layout section, and you're going to use this align to Z. You want to get yourself situated so you're looking at the, the nose of the holder, and then just click on a cylindrical feature, or you can even click on this face here, either of those two areas, and it'll auto align Mastercam, it'll create a new WCS that's in alignment to that. So we're not moving the model, we're creating a new plane in Mastercam that's aligned to the model. And we'll just take this right at the defaults and we'll hit the green check mark. And then you'll see that it'll set your graphics view so you're looking along the uh, where the X axis of the new view is in line with the uh, center of rotation of the holder. So I'm going to go over to planes and I'm going to set my tool and construction plane so that it's those are connected to that new custom WCS. So the graphics view, the WCS, the C and the T, the construction plane and the tool plane are all set to the new custom WCS. That is uh, critical to how this this uh, operation next operation works. So next up, we're going to come up here to wireframe and we're going to use the turn profile feature. So we're going to click on turn profile. We're going to click on the holder and we're going to hit end selection. We're going to let it spin and create a turn profile of this uh, tool holder and hit the green check mark. So now I'm going to just come over to one of the uh, lines or any portion of that new turn profile, I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to click and that's going to select that profile. Then in Mastercam to hide the solid model, I can just use the hotkey alt E and that's hide. And now we're looking at the turn profile. So this is a spin profile of that holder and the holder has a lot more detail. Uh, I've got an uh, image of it here again. You'll see there's a lot of milling features that are there that are really unnecessary for the purpose of uh, simulation. So what we're going to do is we're simplifying this shape. So next up, we're going to go to, to the uh, line tool, and we're going to create a line from the center uh, from the origin, and we're just going to snap a horizontal line in place. And then we're going to come over here to the trimming tool, and we'll use trim 2, and we'll trim this line over to this line. We'll trim this line, which represents the bottom of the, uh, of the pocket that holds the tool. And we'll trim that. And now all of this inner detail here is really unnecessary. It's just extra complexity that's not needed for the purpose of uh, simulation. So then to get rid of that, I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to click and we'll just quick chain that and hit the delete key. So that's all we Mastercam really needs to represent the holder. And uh, we are going to create a new solid model that's uh, greatly simplified as compared to the original. And then we'll use that as the uh, to import for the holder. So before we do that, sometimes these uh, boundaries are more complex than they need to be. So there's a tool in Mastercam. Uh, if there's any spline features in here, we can simplify. And so on the wireframe menu, under the modify group, 
where it says refit spline, there's a feature called simplify spline. And if we click that, we can just drag a window over this, hit end selection, hit the green check mark, and then that will clean up. Down here, you'll see a report. I'm going to zoom in and you'll see a report and it converted 34 splines and turned those into lines and or arcs making it a much simpler profile. Uh, so from that then we're going to go into solids and we're going to revolve and we'll chain this and hit the chaining menu. Use this as the axis of rotation and now we have a much more simplified version of the holder all in the proper orientation and ready to go for use in Mastercam. So the final step is you would do a file save as or save some is actually better. Save some, select this new simplified holder, hit end selection and we'll save it into the same folder we were working and we'll just add the to the file name dash cleaned. hit save. Now in your next programming session when you're ready to import that holder in uh, you should find that that imports in uh, very quickly and easy for uh, management as a tool holder in Mastercam.